God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please join in singing our infant's hymn, O Sacred Head.
soul is in anguish, my heart is in torment. My soul is in anguish, my heart is in torment. O oh Lord, listen to my prayer. Turn your ear to my appeal. You are faithful, you are just, give answer. Do not call your servant to judgment, for in your sight no one living is justified. The enemy pursues my soul, he has crushed my life to the Oh, 
Today, in our recommended prayers at home, we have invited you to do a veneration of the cross. Whereas Palm Sunday focuses on the death of Christ on the cross, Good Friday invites us to enter into the saving mystery of the cross. One of the central observances of Good Friday is venerating the cross. But it is not only the cross of Christ that we venerate. It is also our own cross. Central to the teaching of Jesus is that we are to take up our cross and follow him. The cross is not something that can be explained. It is something that we understand by our passing through a process of change and renewal that transforms us into the likeness of Christ. As we pass through this process, we are united more closely to Christ. This is the only way for us to progress into the fullness of our humanity, which leads us towards union with God. The cross itself is a symbol that gives us guidance as to what we must go through to become our full humanity. Earth must be united with heaven in us, with arms outstretched in love. Christ, nailed to the cross, 
shows us the way we must go. It is a difficult and painful process in which, in which we must bear the burden of our own life, specifically bearing the suffering of love. We venerate the cross, the mystery of the cross.
Thanks be to God. 